Hello everybody, Kane here today with another episode of our zoo series, and today, um, <laughs> oh boy is this a bit of a, bit of a, 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 a kerfuffle, one might say. Um, so sometimes, you guys, if you're, if you're familiar with the content I've made, um, I bring up lost episodes, quote unquote, basically, where something went horribly wrong with the recording, and we lost the video. Now that happened. And that happens every once in a while when I mess up with OBS. However, this time, due to somehow, after I went and fixed OBS, OBS decided to break again. <laughs> and I am now two episodes <laughs> gone for this series. I have lost approximately, like, well, let's see, I spent three hours on this last project and about two hours. I've probably lost like four and a half to five hours worth of work and assumedly about an hour and a half's worth of footage, um, which is absolutely fantastic, you know, just just absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a fun thing. And that's why this video is probably not going to be super long because all I'm doing today is showing off what I just spent two videos making. Oh, this is frustrating. But I also feel like I I don't want to go back. Well, I actually don't have the footage from the first one because it messed up my recording button. The second one just didn't record any audio. And I don't feel like going back and recording like 28 minutes worth of audio because it's weird and it, I don't I just don't like it. So yeah, anyway, um, the South American area. You might be wondering, oh, why is this episode just South American section or area or whatever I've decided to call it, and not like a specific animal, like the capybaras that are in the thumbnail. Um, that's because, again, two episodes disappeared. I finished most of the South American area, and I'm going to show you that right now. Dun 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 dun! Two cool, well I say two, it's actually five brand new enclosures! And this thing, which doesn't look very good from the outside, but trust me, when we get it, go in there and like look at everything, this is what I just spent three hours building, and it is fantastic, and I absolutely love it, and it's probably one of my favorite builds I've done for this series, and I'm so annoyed that the footage is not usable because there's absolutely no audio on it, and it's super annoying because, yeah, yay. Anyway, hopefully this hasn't bugged out. Um, but yes, the first exhibit I did was um, this one, which I can't believe I didn't actually finish that there. All right, anyway. It is our llama and alpaca exhibit. Uh, the alpacas are from the Peru mod, as are many of the animals featured in this video. And the llamas are obviously just the base Minecraft ones, but they look pretty good. So yeah. Anyway, they're in this cool little like open field type exhibit. We got the big rock wall connecting up to the spectacled bears from last episode. And a uh, nice little shelter, nice little staff area and uh, this little fence back here, which I thought was kind of cool to switch out the wood for a bit more of a gray one. I don't know, I feel like it, it works a bit better. And yeah, I mean, it, it, there's just not terribly much to talk about with this build. It wasn't, this is actually an, an exhibit I'm kind of okay with having lost the episode for. It wasn't a particularly interesting build. I think it looks good for what, I, for what it's meant to be housing, which is just llamas and alpacas. You know, it's not gonna have tons of trees. It's gonna be more of like a field kind of thing. Um, and I think it captures that pretty well. Just so I'm kind of okay that I don't didn't have footage for this one, but yeah, this is the first one we built. And now for the coup de grand of what I have built. This. This is I, I don't actually have a name for this yet. Um, I'm kind of just calling it the small animals area yet so far. But this is a really cool like cave indoor area. This is by far one of my favorite things I've built. We got all these hanging plants. It's very tropical looking. And here uh, we have the first of the animals, our uh, guinea pigs from the Peru mod, which are super duper cute. And I love these things. They're actually amazing. Like, oh, it makes me, I, I used to have guinea pigs and it really makes me want to get a new, another guinea pig. I love these things. They're amazing. Um, next up, we have some armadillos, also from the Peru mod, looking pretty cool in their exhibit. I think theirs probably has a bit too many, a few too many plants. I probably could have made this a bit more uh, dirt filled, or maybe tried to make a burrow, but there isn't much space here because on one end over there, there's a shelter. On that end over there, there's the guinea pigs, and right at the back of the enclosure is the llamas. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really have a ton of space to do anything over the top with this, but I think it still looks pretty good. Um, over here we just got a little like 
scenic area. And in fact, I really like to quickly, uh, if we can find a slab, kind of do like that to just to kind of round it out a bit more. Um, but yeah, anyway, we've got this little like viewing area type thing into the sun. Um, over here, we have sloths also from the Peru mod. Um, and these guys look pretty cool. That one's on the floor because I didn't realize like actually hang on to leaves because I'm used to the Zawa ones, which do not do this. So yeah, but they look really cool. They got a nice little area. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, and then right over here, we have my favorite. These are capybaras from the unnamed animal mod. The mod everyone has continued to tell me to get even after I said I've had caught the mod. And I'm sure someone today is going to say, oh, you should get unnamed animal mod or untamed wilds. And I'm gonna laugh because that's just funny to me. Um, but yeah, we have capybaras, and I put a lot of them in this enclosure because I absolutely adore these things. And I don't, I feel like I may have mentioned it in another episode, but I actually got to like pet, pet a capybara recently. And it was really cute. I really liked it. I love capybaras. They're probably one of my favorite animals. So yeah, I was really happy to get them into the zoo. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm trying not to rush through things. It's kind of weird though, cause you know, like in my head, I'm like, I've already recorded all this. So I'm speeding through it faster than I probably should. But uh, yeah, I, I think this area overall looks just super cool. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's got a lot of character to it. it just looks fantastic. It really does. We got all these planters over there. I, I would definitely say the only thing I might change with this it would be to kind of go back through and do more stuff like uh, like this and just kind of throw some more leaves around to kind of make it a bit more uh, overgrown but you know I'm not really gonna bother too much with that right now uh, I say as I continue to place leaves uh, <laughs> But yeah, I, oh, that actually looks so much better. That's actually, yeah, okay. Wait, we'll make sure to go do that pretty soon. But um, yeah, oh, that's another thing as I'll quickly kind of go around and show some more stuff off real quick, I guess. But uh, next episode is going to be a zoo tour episode because, well, that was the point of building this thing. I was like, oh, I want to knock out all the rest of South American stuff I wanted to build. That way we could, you know, have all this and then we could do a big tour next episode and you know it's gonna try and get you know all the the borders for the the zoo done get everything kind of set up ready to go get all the zookeeper areas finished up which i guess i'll have more time for but yeah anyway that's that's why that's why i did four or was going to do four exhibits in one episode now we've done five exhibits in one episode ain't that great anyway um Coming into the capybara enclosure here. It's uh, it ha doesn't have trees really in it. It's it's kind of, you know, I actually forgot something. You know, let me just uh, type this uh, driftwood. No, um, I might actually take that, but a uh, log, because I forgot, and I'm not sure how I forgot this. But capybaras are quite obviously rodents, and rodents. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Um, da, 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 da. Rodents, if you aren't aware, have constantly growing teeth, which means they need stuff to chew or their teeth get out of control. So let's just chuck some like little wooden bits around and about for them just so they have something to gnaw on. I think that adds a bit more character to it. I'm happy with that. Um. But yeah, we got their shelter over here. Just a pretty simple shelter. Uh, leads into a uh, staff area. I will say the outside of this build needs a lot of work, but at the same time, I don't know. I always debate when it comes to stuff like this, where it's like at the back of the zoo and realistically, like, I mean, you might say like, oh, well, what about like finishing this off or that this off? I mean, I actually need to finish this part of this off, but uh. There's a lot of this, I, I feel like, you know, you just don't need to really work on like the back of this rock wall because you'll never see this, not even from the staff area would you see this. So it's like, you, there, there are just weird little areas you don't have to do anything with because realistically, unless, you know, you're like me and flying around, you will never ever see it. So yeah, anyway, um, shelters, stuff. I found a cool glass door. I don't know what mod it's from, but 
we have a glass door. This is the shelter for the, uh, uh, what are they called? Sloths. Um, and it's, it's not a very complex shelter. It's also got a door on it because I figured sloths are probably more of an animal that instead of uh, them going in and out of their shelter, you know, they're probably taken in and out of there by the zookeepers. So yeah, that's that's why they're enclosures like that. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's about that. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what else to show off. I, I haven't really done anything else over here, but we can go take a quick look at the, aw, our spectacled bear there. Very cute. Absolutely love him. Um, but yeah, that is that is what I have been working on, and I think I think it's all turned out very well. I'm I'm really happy with the. Uh, maybe not super happy with this build, just because I think it looks kind of boring. But I also think this is probably one of the most realistic term, like in terms of what you know the exhibit would actually look like in a real zoo. This is what a llama exhibit looks like. It's rather flat with just some walls and a big shelter, like open air shelter and mostly just grass and hay because it's llamas. Uh, but yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's also a good transition between the indoor cave there and of course our uh, spectacle there and the jaguars, I guess, which I know they're in here, but I have never, I haven't seen them in, oh, there's one of them. I don't know where the other is. Oh, there it is. They are really hard to spot. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's all right. And I'm sure it'll look better if I throw some like decorations in here. But I mean, this area, just absolutely fantastic. Absolutely adore this thing. Let me, so yeah, um, I guess let me know what you guys think of these uh, these last two South American builds. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean the end of the South American animals. It's just, uh, I, I do have one more area where some will go, but we've kind of run out of areas for the big animals and we've kind of got all of them situate oh i guess yeah it's like we got a fairly large area for them i mean it's not as many animals as like are in our african section but mods tend to add a lot more african animals than they do south american at least from my experience anyway that is about all for today so sorry there's no actual build footage um a bit disappointing especially on my end but uh yeah that's it so let me know what you guys think of these builds. Let me know what you're excited to see in the future, any animals you want. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, see ya.